My name is Brian Romacco, and today I'd like to use a Shurizol D3 Ultra to check out the ulnar collateral ligament at the elbow. Uh, when this is injured, or if this is injured, this is called a Tommy John injury. It happens a lot to throwers, where there's just so much force twisting the elbow that the ligament that you know keeps it from moving too far gets torn. And in fact, if you scan an asymptomatic picture, um, you may find that the ligament itself looks sort of all torn up and chewed up and the bone cortex looks all chewed up because it's been torn, healed, torn, healed, torn, healed again and again and again. It's such a common injury with throwing. Now, MRI is better for this, but here you may be able to figure out if it's a serious injury that, that may require surgery. Now a partial tear may heal on its own, but for a large tear or a complete rupture, you should send them for, for a surgical consult. So what we'll be looking for is we'll look to see if we can see, see fiber discontinuity, whether the ligament is so thickened and hypoechoic, and most importantly, we'll see if the joint opens. So we can look at how much the joint opens and, or we could compare how much the joint opens compared to the asymptomatic side. And there are thresholds for both these quantities. Now, if you're just looking at one side, well, the joint should normally open about one millimeter if it opens more than two millimeters, that's considered abnormal. If we're comparing sides, then if the symptomatic side opens more than one millimeter or more than the asymptomatic side, that's considered abnormal. And if that difference is greater than 2.5 millimeters, you can consider that a complete rupture. There are different ways to do the stress test. If you're very dexterous, maybe you can do the stress test as you hold the transducer unit. You can have an assistant help pull the arm as you're scanning or you can have gravity do it. And there's some debate as to whether you should have a weight help pull the arm, but the research suggests that just the weight of the arm is sufficient to see a sufficient opening to make, make your clinical decisions. I have my sure result here, and what I'm going to do is I'm using split screen so that I can look at the joint before valgus force and after valgus force, and I can take those measurements. So let's turn it on. Now the position of the ligament is a little bit different uh, compared to, let's say, looking at the common flexor tendon. Okay, and we have a nice picture here. So we'll freeze that. And we'll now do the valgus test. We'll go to the other side. And let's apply a valgus force there. And now let's take our measurements. Now the great thing here is you just want to be consistent. So my elbow opens, you know, less than a millimeter, and that's normal. And I'll just add that if you are interested in one of these anti ultrasound units, you can use my coupon code here for 11% off. Also, they've asked me to mention that they try their best to handle shipping and uh, duty. And if you have any concerns about that stuff, just contact them on WhatsApp and they'll answer your concerns. And they also try to meet uh, international standards for their units. Anyway, cheers.